Hello guys, this time I will be demonstrating to you a numerical method called the newton Raphson method. In newton Raphson method, you only need one specific guess or one guess of x to solve for the root of the function. Now, the formula of the function is derived by getting the derivative of the function at the specific point or the point of our initial guess which is then equated to the tangent of the theta with respect to our root. Rearranging that equation will have our formula xi plus 1 equal to xi minus f of xi all over f prime of xi. So, for example, we have an equation f of x which is equal to x cubed minus 26. The derivative of this function is equal to 3x squared. Let's use the real root of this function as our preference for getting the root of our getting the root using the newton raphson method. So its real root is approximately 2.9625. So in newton raphson method, we are going to arrive at that answer. Now, let's guess for one value of our x. Let's use 4. Now, let's substitute the values to our equation. So, at iteration equals 0, every time we have an iteration, it always starts 0 in newton raphson method. So, for iteration 0, x1 is equal to x sub 0 minus f of x sub 0 all over f prime of x sub 0. Our initial guess will automatically be our x sub 0. So our xi for now, x1 for now is 4 minus f of 4 all over f prime of 4, which is then equal to 4 minus 4 cubed minus 26 all over 3 times 4 squared. This is equal to 3.2083. Now, for our iteration number 2, which is 1, xi will then become x2, then equal to x1 minus f of x1 all over f prime of x1. This is equal then to 3.2083. 0.83 minus f of 3.2083. Let's make it into an equation already. 3.2083 cubed minus 26 all over 3 times 3.2083 squared. The answer for that is 2.9808. Now for our i equals 2. Our equation will become x sub 3 is equal to x sub 2 minus f of f of x2 all over f prime of x2. The answer for that is 2.9808 minus 2.9808 cubed minus 26 all over 3 times 2.9808 squared. The answer for that will be 2.9626. As you can see, compared to the approximated real root of the function, they are already 1% of error compared to its true value. So, using newton raphson method, by only using minimal initial or minimal iterations, we, ha we arrive at our real root or approximately near our root. This is more efficient than other methods like the second method, the bisection method, and the false position method. So, that's it for tonight. Thank you for listening.